Hey, what's going on everyone? Big Bob with the Road Key Nation. Today we're in Los Angeles, California. We're gonna be speaking with Al Sid, who has over 10 years in custom paint and pinstriping. You guys stay tuned, King Life. It's uh, like an addiction to me, you know? Being able to get up and, uh, you know, work with my brushes, the smell of the paint, you know, all that stuff's like a rush, you know? Mm. So I look forward to that. And, uh, you know, I'm able to portray, you know, everything I see that I like, my surroundings, you know, all through my brushes. Hey, what's going on everyone? Big Bog. Welcome back to another edition of Tales of a King. Today we're with Sid in Los Angeles, California. How you doing, Sid? Hey, what's going on, Bob? How you doing, man? Good. So Sid's a pinstriper, painter, artist overall, uh, if not the best, one of the best in the game, is my in my personal opinion. Uh, Sid, let's get right to it. Yeah. I recently watched an interview and uh, you did, and he said, art is like a drug. It's in my veins, it's, it's, it's in my blood. Explain that, what, what do you mean? Basically what it is, you know, art is uh, like an addiction to me, you know, being able to get up and, uh, you know, work with my brushes, the smell of the paint, you know, all that stuff's like a rush, you know, mm. so I look forward to that and, uh, you know, I'm able to portray, you know, everything I see that I like, my surroundings, you know, all through my brushes and paint, so that becomes like an addiction and so that's, it feels like, it's like a drug, you know, to right. me alive, yeah. And it, and it just, it feeds. What do you see, like it feeds your soul, yeah, it, feeds, it gives yeah, you that exactly. craving of, yep. would you call it a uh, stress relief or is it more no, absolutely, of? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, definitely a stress reliever, you know. You kind of, you're like in your own world, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? You forget about everything, you could be having a bad day or a good day, so it's either gonna enhance it or it's gonna make your day better, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because uh, just, uh, just the way of just losing yourself, you know, right. the way I see it. Now you're, uh, uh, you, when you say like you lose yourself, the, the pinstriping part, do you follow a, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you call it pattern. Or is pinstriping? Is this one of those things you just you go and you you just go with? Or do you have something in your mind where you're like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do? Or uh, it could be a you know combination of both, depending on the situation. You know what I mean? Because it could be something where it's uh, for a motorcycle per se. You know what I mean? So both sides gotta like. Uh, be the same or the design's got to be the same contours can play a big role in mm. it too you know what i mean and how to design something or accent it but if it's something loose let's say for um like a skateboard you know for example and stuff you know you can go ahead and just let loose with it and you know there's no rules to it right right no color scheme you know just kind of go with it and stuff so you use words like accent like i don't know what any of that means so it's oh. more than just getting a brush and <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, could be. What's accent? What is that? Like we said, uh, accent. Like the... uh, little highlights and stuff. You know, like for example, like on a motorcycle. You know, could do highlights on the tops of your bags. You know, or uh, you know, on the front fairing. You know, things like that. Things that are going to add to the style or the body lines of the motorcycle. So that's what I mean. You know, you, the okay. same thing goes with cars too. You know, like when we do tramp stamps on like a on a trunk of a car. You mm, know what I mean? Tramp stamp. Ah, that's what I call it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's yeah, it's lower know, back. Yeah, it's in the lower back. So you know, so those are usually things that you know accent the mm -hmm. car or you know contours of the car and stuff. So it's just accents. You know, little right. things that make it pop. You know, so that's the way. That's what I call it. Accent. Have you done? Have you done a lot of uh, bikes? Uh, I've done about ten different bikes. I've done uh, two like custom motorcycle mm -hmm. paint jobs and uh but yeah mostly like you know small scale stuff you know right, right. from helmets to pedal cars to uh motorcycle parts you know artwork custom artwork so those are most of the stuff that i kind of deal with you know small scale things right right yeah pedal cars that's the uh uh the pedal car is that little, the little like, yeah, literally they're yeah, the little like vintage uh, pedal cars for right. kids and stuff. You know, I think like a three-year-old might fit in. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, are those the ones that have like the little stick in the back or like a handle. And no, the those are actually customized, and okay. so those what they do is they take the mechanism out of the pedaling, 
to be able to lower the car and so since they can't push themselves now with their legs you know then they have the it becomes a stroller in a sense oh okay, so, okay. yeah so that's basically you're turning or controlling right. it from behind yeah so okay. that's more custom but okay they don't originally come like that yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah no for sure i've done a few of those too yeah yeah, yeah those are fun uh, so have you, have you done a lot of pedal cars or is this something like uh, are those specialty like as far as paint builds I've, I've done a few of them already you know it's all depending on what the client wants you mm -hmm. know what they want to spend you know budget has a lot to do with it okay. and stuff so the more money they have to spend the you know the more i can do you mm -hmm. know for them so um sometimes it's just a custom paint job no leafing no pinstriping you know but sometimes uh that's what they want so i usually try to go above and beyond you know what i mean because right. once my name's out there then the work speaks for itself definitely so definitely your name's all over that right exactly yeah and you do you do uh everything right you don't farm nothing out no pinstriping no. flaking yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. uh was it a uh, gold leafing yes gold leafing yeah and the clear and all that yeah everything from start to finish yeah wow yeah so everything from full custom you know to um, from mild to wild you know mm -hmm. depending on what the client wants from yeah. mild to wild <laughs> ah, i love that <laughs> mild to wild <laughs> um now is there anything you you have not done because you didn't want to do it like is, you know means you're somewhere like mm, ah, that's cool but i don't want to do that uh, or do you do you take whatever pays? No in a I sense, mean, you know what I mean. It's all there, I'm, uh, well. Now I can pick and choose what I want to do. You know, right, there right. was a time where yeah, whatever would come up, you know, um, I would go ahead and do. But mm -hmm. now I'm able to pick and choose what I want. You know, so usually I'm more selective now. You okay. know, like I'm, uh, you know, if it's a big project, you know, something I'm really looking forward to or I've never done before, that's usually the kind of project I want to tackle. You know, okay, yeah. something different, or it could be like, man, I've always wanted to do one of those. You know, so then I'll take on that project. Now, how how did you uh, how did you get into? Because this is not something that. Or maybe it is, I don't like personally know. Is it one of those things where you just, you learn it? Do you just pick it up and go? Or, you know what I mean? Uh, is, is it you know, natural for Trial you? and error, trial okay. and error. As far as brush work and stuff, I, I've been a painter by trade, you know, okay. ever since I went to art school and stuff. So pretty much I was drawing, oil painting, acrylic painting. And uh, I had done that and I was pretty proficient in that, but it was just, wasn't doing anything for me. I didn't want to just be a, a, a guy that paints on canvases, mm. you know? Right. But I come from an automotive background because uh, we used to have a paint store and stuff, an automotive paint store in Southgate, California. Okay. So with that, that was my background. I learned to start, you know, playing around with metal flake, candy, mm. you know, pinstriping, because that was all the stuff we were supplying to body shops and other custom painters. So I wanted to be able to incorporate both things together, you know, okay. from artwork and acrylic painting and morph that in with the custom paint scene, you know? And right. so that's basically what I started to learn. So it was all trial and error as far as custom paint went. Um, Cause there's in classes like, um, there's classes now that they teach for pinstriping custom paint. Yeah. But that wasn't available to us then. YouTube wasn't available. Uh, none of that stuff was, you know what I mean? So it was all trial and error, you know, just uh, picking other people's brains and, you know, seeing, you know, what we can learn from each other. Do you, uh, yeah, you said there was no, they said there's classes, but well, there's classes now. Do you feel, um, I actually know guys who, a bike builder, um, who learned how to paint from a painter, uh -huh. like on the telephone. <laughs> and he painted award winning bikes. And, uh, and so is it one of those things where he said there's no YouTube, there's no classes. Do you feel that you can still learn the art through uh, a class? Like, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is, for you, it's probably a lot natural, right? Right. It's you're artistic. You're you have that that mindset. Right. Now, someone like me, not very artistic. Do you think if I went to a school and said, "Oh, I want to learn how to do flakes," there's a yeah. difference, right? It, oh yeah, no, yeah, you could totally do that. I mean, you know, I think anybody that applies themselves can go ahead and learn to spray, you know. But you know, the pinstripes a little bit different because there's some guys that just paint. You know, mm -hmm. they're not pinstripers. They're, they don't gold leaf or they don't do uh, graphics or anything like that. You know, so it's up to you. You know what that individual wants to learn. You know, right. how bad do you want it? You know, mm, so right. yeah. So, but as far as uh, painting something, yeah, you know, I think I mean anybody can do it as long as they want to learn. So if you're looking for for every thing at one, Sid's the man. And uh, his Instagram, we're gonna pop it up on the bottom. It's Al Sid. The number one is back. And uh, you guys hit him up because he'll do it all. Um, now, you do a lot of skateboards and 
you know, small scale stuff, artwork, commission pieces. You like the skateboards? Yeah, they're fun. You they're know, fun. they're small. Uh, they're they're great for like Christmas presents. Right now, I sell a lot of commission stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, for Christmas. Um, you know, birthday gifts. You know, we do them so for swaps at other like. Uh, you know, pinstriping events or auctions, raffles, things like that. So they're fun to do, you know, they're right. just small, small scale, you know, so easier to work with, but yeah, they are fun. Have you ever gotten to like a uh, uh, tattooing? I tried it once. Did you? I have I to ask because you feel. Like, I feel like a lot of the artists like no, they either tried, tried it, it or they done it for a while. No, I tried it once. Uh, actually, I had two friends of mine from college that were my guinea pigs. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly it was like back then it was all tribal my work. Guinea pigs. The, yeah, <laughs> well, it was like 1992, so yeah. that's when tribal stuff was in. So I did uh, some Mayan tribal band on mm -hmm. a friend and the other one too, and so uh, stuff like that. But it wasn't my thing. Didn't really like dealing with the blood and all that stuff. Mm, yeah. So I just kind of just you know never pursued it after that. But I did try it. Right, know, right. So, yeah. Do you do like uh, portrait work or stuff like that, or is it uh, real very little of it? You know what I mean. Yeah. I don't do too much of that stuff. Uh, most of my stuff is kind of like more on the animated side. You know, not not realistic. You right, know? right. So uh, and that's kind of yeah, because uh, one shot and lettering enamels don't, don't really lend themselves for those kind of things. You know okay, what I mean. Okay. So, but yeah, to answer your question, no, I don't do portraits. Now, as far as like uh, product, do you stick with like one uh, brand or do you? Are you just one of those guys who uses whatever's on sale or? Uh, well, as far as candy, I pretty much use House of Color. That's, House of what, Color? I, yeah, okay. that's what I use. Yeah, that's pretty much, uh, you know, the known brand, you know, for all types of custom paint and stuff. There are other companies that are coming out and stuff offering the same types of products. But, you know, I just stick to what I what I know, you know, right, right. what I've been using. Uh, as far as like uh, lettering enamels and stuff like that for pinstriping, uh, I use alpha enamel, some one shot, but for the most part I use alpha enamel. And again, you guys, all these companies we, like in previous, uh, we've done before, everything's gonna be on the bottom, uh, their links and their uh, Instagrams, and well, you can just go to their Instagrams and you could go on their websites and all that stuff. And so if you go under the uh, description, all that will be there available for you guys if you're interested, as well as Sid's uh, information. Sid's holding this helmet right here. Uh, it's a custom helmet he painted. Uh, you can see with the alley logo. What had it, and it also has sentimental value. Uh, Sid, why don't you tell us a little about, about this helmet? Uh, this helmet was uh, made for my friend Louis. Actually, it was one of his helmets. Uh, he passed away on a motorcycle accident. Hmm. This wasn't the helmet he was wearing, but um, this uh, is one of the things he left behind and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I took it upon myself to, you know, do something custom. You know, something that said Louis, that's his name, Louis Hernandez. Okay. And so he was a big Dodger, Laker fan and stuff. He was all about LA and stuff. Yeah. So I figured, you know, he was into Impalas and Lowriders. So I wanted to paint something like this in the color schemes of like Dodger logo, you know, and so I did my own thing with it and stuff. So this is something I use to promote, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you know, it means something to me because it's like, I, I still have a part of him here. You right, know I mean? right. You know, he passed away, it's already been 10 years, you know, so. But, uh, you know, this always stays in the family. Everybody sees it, you know, and so we always remember Louie that way. And you always have a piece of Louie with you yep. in your garage. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Motivation and influence. And oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Like, he's like, like he never left, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, Sid, this is, a, this is a set you're doing for a buddy as far as the, the tank and the fender? Yes. This is a rear fender? Yes. No front? No, it's a no. chopper, like a chopper. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. it's a chopper, yeah, so. Uh, one thing I was looking at, the, the this is... Leafing or what do you call yes. it? Yeah, that's a copper leaf. A copper leaf, and uh -huh. what is? I don't, I don't know. So what is it? What is uh, basically, it? there's different types of uh, metal. There's like gold leaf, silver leaf, copper leaf. Uh, this one here is a variegated leaf, which okay. basically it's a consists of different tones of metal. You know, from uh, bronze, copper, a little bit of gold. So this is a red shade because they come in two different shades. Okay. Now looking at this, you pinstripe that, right? Yes. And then you got the leaf inside the pinstripe. Uh, the, uh, yes. Uh huh. How do you get it? I guess so. <laughs> How did you get the leaf inside the pinstripe? I guess I'm asking. Well, I, what I use is uh, I use the glue, which is a sizing. Okay. I use that as a paint, like to pinstripe with. And I stuff. see. Okay. So I tin it, so I'm able to see it, and then I do my pinstripe design with the sizing, and then I go ahead and just put the leaf over it and stuff. Is that why you guys have little brushes? It brushes off the. Right. Yeah. Okay. They look like makeup brushes or whatever. Right. Yeah. That's just to go ahead and take off the excess uh, leaf. And again, you guys, on this tank and the fender, he did he did everything from pinstriping, flake, clear. Yeah, full product, yeah. Full product, everything. No no uh, farming out. In other words, no having no one else do the flake or the clear. He did it all. Um, 
No, your beer box. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, you, no, for sure. You use this. Yeah, all the time, yeah. All the car shows, parties, barbecues. Everybody that sees this thing knows who it is. <laughs> they yeah. know that's how Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it fits about, I think about 15 beers in there. Really? Oh, with yeah, ice? With ice, yeah. That's yeah. a good product Usually, right Yeah, there. I know for sure. Now, does this have uh, the, the leaf also? Yeah. It's got variegated leaf right here and here, all throughout the whole uh, ice box and stuff. Every side is a uh, different design. They're not all the same. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. So. Now, is leafing, is that like a... Uh, um, is that a, a specialty or not a specialty, but is it? It, it goes back to like medieval times and stuff like that. You really? Know? Yeah, the kings and, and all that. They had their thrones, all gold leaf yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. Wow. I mean, frames, all the uh, all kinds of different stuff, like the old carriages and stuff. I mean, pinstriping dates back to a long time too, mm. you know, from gold leafing and pinstriping. I guess, um, so, uh, what I'm asking is, is it a skill set, the, the gold leaf? Like in itself, besides pinstriping, besides... Oh, yeah. No, yeah. 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 You got to know what you're doing. You can't yeah, like glue yeah. it. No, no, no. Okay. It, it, it's almost, it almost comes down kind of like to a science, you know? Yeah. Because uh, you've got to be able to, you know, the elements play a big role in it. If it's too hot, then the sizing dries up too fast, mm. and then the leaf won't stick to it. Uh, for example, right now with this type of weather and stuff, it takes longer to set up, you know, okay. to dry. And then, like, say, you're going to try to do engine turns in here in the gold leaf. Uh, if it's not dry enough, you'll tear the leaf. What, what is engine turns? Uh, basically what you see right here is just these little circles and stuff. Uh, they're turned either with sandpaper or velvet. Really? Yeah. So you, you physically did that? Yeah. Yeah. You spin it. Wow. Yeah, you spin it. Some people spin it by hand. Some people use a drill because uh, it's a little faster. And if you have a larger area to spin, so, you know, you just kind of just zip right through. Oh, is that like kind of like when they do the stainless walls? Uh-huh. So yeah, same okay. concept. Okay. Yeah, the oh, only thing the... is that you're scratching the leaf to give it that effect, you mm -hmm. know, and in the sense, that's the same thing, except they're using like a grinder, okay. you know, to, to to scratch the metal and stuff to give it a design. This is probably a little more uh, uh, sensitive. You got to probably be a little oh, more. Oh, yeah, very sensitive. Because yeah. if, if you mess that up, you got to. You have to go ahead and reapply the sizing to be able to cover it with more leaf. To oh, repair. I see. Yeah. Okay. So okay. just kind of sets you back and stuff. So, right. so you try to uh, be as uh, as gentle as possible. You know what I mean? Where you don't tear the leaf. So. Right. And what's the what's the like the why well, you, you you'll clear the leaf? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it has to be clear. So that it, obviously that's going to seal. That's my right. yeah. to seal, but it, that's obvious. Again, if you guys need some work done on your bike, man, check this out. We'll, you guys will check it out. Uh, later and get a closer look Sid thank you man I appreciate it all right Bob thanks man appreciate you guys it. man Sid from custom helmets to gas tanks to fenders beer boxes hold on and folding chairs <laughs> the full package man like I said from flake to pinstripe to gold leaf to clear he does it all you guys check him out. His description's below. We appreciate all the love and support. Thank you again for tuning in to another Tales of the King. We'll see you guys soon. King Life.